few years back, people thought of space in the networking as a decorative approach to space missions. Space in the networking, however, constitutes a vital solution for future communications. The term reflects the mutual technological influence of space into internet and internet into space. Given the amount of smart mobile devices currently available worldwide, along with the possibility of small satellites to offer internet services in the future, space can enable the widest capability to interconnect people and devices in human history. In a sense, this can happen based on context, location, or other criteria adjusted to social or business policies. But the ability to apply the power of Internet technology in support of space flight operations, in Earth orbit, at the Moon, or even in deep space, is now at hand as well. The design of more complex and productive joint space flight missions in the future is made possible through resource sharing, dynamic routing, and network interoperability. That is, Internet technologies are gradually incorporated into space as well. By and large, an infrastructure for universal interconnection among humans and their artifacts is emerging. The infrastructure will unify inter networking and space flight technologies. Having realized the research potential of space in the networking early on, we decided to highlight its benefits, detail a research plan, and seek European support for the first European Space in the Networking Center, SPICE. It all started in 2010 at the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering of the Democratic University of Thrace after receiving significant funding from European Commission's FP7 Research Potential Program. Our group moved to new offices and the laboratory was enhanced with high-tech equipment. Through SPICE project, we managed to recruit top qualified researchers, both as personnel and visiting researchers, and organize lectures and presentations from high-profile scientists on a regular basis. This helped us strengthen our collaborations. In particular, we have been collaborating with the European Space Agency on identifying ways to extend Internet into space. We developed frameworks for space communications together with NASA, and we are working with the University of Cambridge on providing global Internet access to all. Part of our software has also been incorporated in the latest DTN implementations that are being standardized by the Consultative Committee for Space Data Systems. Our main research focuses on space communication and the design and development of new protocols and services. Obviously, these protocols cannot be tested on space assets directly. For this reason, we have built a specialized evaluation platform, our SPICE DTN testbed, worth more than 200,000 euros. It comprises specialized hardware and software and includes sensors, mobile nodes and satellite links, all for experimental purposes. By using our state-of-the-art DTN testbed, extensive testing of space internet networking protocols is made possible. SPICE DTN testbed can evaluate the functionality and performance of new space protocols and is the sole space internet networking testbed of this form co-funded by the European Space Agency and the European Commission. During the last years, SPICE has organized a series of panel sessions and workshops on delay-tolerant networking technologies with recognized keynote speakers. Team members also had the opportunity to visit and work at universities such as MIT and Aalto University, publish jointly and work on topics ranging from less than best effort access methods to streaming services for space. We also had the opportunity to write joint research proposals and participate in strong consortia for new research projects. SPICE is a unique center of excellence, the first of its kind in Europe, with a aim to move space networking technologies forward. Our group is involved in several space and terrestrial oriented research projects founded by national resources, the European Union, as well as the European Space Agency. Several of these projects are also coordinated by our group. During the last year, SPICE has received more than 3 million euros for research. In particular, as part of our collaboration with the European Space Agency, we investigate ways to extend Internet into space in three phases. 
We designed and implemented a secure hardware device running the DTN stack in this project and we studied a BitTorrent-like data distribution model to mission operations. In the framework of FP7, SPICE developed a space data router which is an overlay suitable for exploiting space data efficiently. The dissemination and exploitation of space data is a major challenge for Europe. Huge volumes of data produced by scientific missions need to be transferred to repositories for further dissemination and processing. That said, many of these data do not get exploited by research institutes due to low visibility and other bureaucratic reasons. As soon as a relevant FP7 call was online almost three years ago, we were sure that we could make a difference. We formed a consortium of five partners and proposed space data routers to support data dissemination in space and on Earth. Basically, space data routers form a communications overlay where data can be transferred from space to Earth securely and efficiently, based on the inherent capabilities of the DTN architecture. A web application with advanced filtering tools facilitates the acquisition of data, allowing, on the one hand, data producers to advertise their products and, on the other hand, data consumers to easily find the data they are interested in. We showcased our dissemination platform with four distinct scenarios, covering a wide spectrum of space missions, from deep space to Earth observation ones. One particular scenario even involved the transfer of single thematic space data from different missions to interested end users. Such a functionality is not offered by any other tool today. We currently adapt space data routers to support multicasting in cases where data needs to be transferred to multiple users at the same time. Meteron, a joint NASA and TISA project, has been proposed as a use case scenario for this functionality. All in all, with space data routers, we are closing the gap between space communications and terrestrial internet as we know it. And practically, this is feasible through the DTN technology. A relevant idea, but from a different angle, was also exploited by investigating the potential of a BitTorrent-like data distribution model to mission operations. In particular, we investigated the possibility to apply BitTorrent networking logic, as we know it today, for downloading large files, but this time for space data. This project was funded by the European Space Agency. Through our participation in the aforementioned projects, we have developed several networking frameworks, protocols and tools, targeting the dynamic and optimized dissemination of space data such as delay-tolerant payload conditioning protocol. Space applications, like typical internet applications, demand for specific services from the underlying communication infrastructure. Put it in another way, space communication should be able to offer a variety of network services in order to best fulfill the demands of space applications. Even though DTN technology is the most promising solution for space internet working, it still lacks vital services for space applications. In a recent work, we highlighted the absence of significant end-to-end -end services from the DTN architecture and we proposed DTPC protocol that extends DTN architecture in order to provide services similar to those offered by the transport protocols of the internet, like TCP. Definitely, reliability is one of the most significant requirements when someone deals with a communication network. In that sense, the primary goal of TTPC protocol is to enhance the reliability of data transfers. DTPC protocol actually offers a safety net when the underlying reliability mechanisms fail and assures that space data are always delivered in transmission order without any omission or duplication. Given also the fact that bandwidth space communications is really costly and should be managed with caution, another goal of DTPC protocol is to decrease the transmission overhead per transmitted byte. 
To do so, it provides a bandwidth optimization service that is based on data aggregation techniques and which achieves significant reduction in bandwidth consumption. DTPC protocol was designed with flexibility in mind and can be easily extended in order to support additional end-to-end -end services in the future as well. As delayed tolerant networking moves forward into mainstream usage though, end user expectations for a functionally rich communication framework are increasing. Instead of simply providing basic network services such as routing, transport and network management, delayed tolerant networking also needs to support application services beyond simple bulk data transfers. For example, current and future signed mission requirements call for a variety of multimedia service capabilities such as data streaming. Bundle Streaming Service is a communication framework that allows for a smoother, near real-time viewing experience of streaming data originating from space. It enables streaming data to be reliably conveyed via DTN bundles in a manner that supports in-order stream processing with minimal latency. To achieve that, BSS employs a sophisticated forwarding tactics which rely on a pair of best effort and reliable transport services. BSS is implemented as part of the Interplanetary Overlaid Network Platform, a software distribution by NASA's Jet Proportion Laboratory that implements the DTN architecture. Potential examples of actual real-time applications that could exploit the capabilities provided by this framework are one-way voice, video and continuous telemetry streaming. Nowadays, when we use the internet, we assume continuous connectivity. Download times for web pages, images or videos are in the order of milliseconds or seconds. In space, however, data transmissions do not follow the same rules. For example, when a rover on Mars captures a picture of the red planet surface, it cannot instantly send it back to the scientists on Earth. Instead, it will have to wait for a transmission opportunity towards a Mars satellite which in turn will have to wait until it gets within line of sight with Earth ground stations. These transmission opportunities between space components are predetermined. So, in the envisioned interplanetary internet, data routing will be much different from terrestrial internets. During the last few years, we have proposed alternative solutions to contact graph routing, which is a routing algorithm that targets space communications. We have enhanced its functionality with a calculation of queuing delays in forwarding decisions. During my research visit to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, together with JPL researchers, we have designed and developed the Bundle Delivery Time Estimation Tool to predict the end-to-end -end delivery time of a file or a data item. The developed application improves the prediction accuracy, so it is useful to space agencies and mission operators for improved mission planning. Providing free or low-cost internet access to all is also part of the recent agenda of SPICE. People living in physically remote locations are typically disconnected since it's not cost-effective for ISPs to install the required infrastructure for broadband internet access in these areas. Even in developed countries, many individuals do not have internet access due to social and economic reasons. SPICE researchers work on less than best effort access methods in an effort to provide global internet access to all. Broadband connection sharing is being investigated from the perspective of both queue management and congestion control. The concept of deploying DTN-capable nodes to extend free internet coverage in urban areas has been also investigated and Carpool Protocol has been developed.
Space Internet Working Center intends to strengthen its research potential and broaden its scientific expertise in major areas covered not only by Space Internet Working but also terrestrial communication applications. It has already gained its momentum in both space and internet communities in Europe and beyond. A business agenda is under development in order to commercially exploit the developed protocols and mechanisms and establish a permanent quality framework from innovative activities in region of Thrace. We aim to support regionally technology firms and create alliances with major players in the field. Our ultimate goal is to consult future space missions and undertake relevant projects in collaboration with European space industry.